Hey everyone, it's Aaron Reppert again from Trafsonic Studios and I'm just giving you the progress update of the 1176 Revision D FET Compressor build that I'm doing from scratch. This is the Hairball Audio Kit and the chassis and main components is from Hairball Audio. Um, Mauser um, provides a lot of the uh, circuitry resistors and um, capacitors and uh, what not but um yeah it's coming along I don't have everything hooked up I don't have the PCB hooked up yet because I do have most of it done but I'm waiting for two resistors to come in so um, I have to wait on that before I do the connections but right now I have uh, most of uh, the main things uh, connected to the U and I'm doing the uh, meter board right now um, so right now I'm actually going to test uh, continuity between the chassis points um, because a chassis actually acts as a ground shield so you want to make sure that everything is connected um, as one circuit so I have my multimeter here and I have one probe into one side I'm going to check if the connection is complete to the other side here so let's get our other side of our probe here right now there's no connection one means no no connection and we'll put our probe into here and bingo connection so this side of the chassis is connected to this point. Um, just for sake, let's do the back. It'll probably be connected. Yeah, perfect. And let's do the front. So let me find a connection point here. Uh, there's a little connection point. And bingo, we have a circuit. So the chassis is complete. Um, acts as a shield, ground shield. And there's some ground components that you need to go into the chassis itself. Uh, for instance, the XLR, um, you need grounds. Um, the ground pin here, um, you need actually to have pin one um, grounded into the chassis. So I have a little wire going from pin and it's grounding into the XLR itself. And um, I have some bolts here and I scraped off powder coat to the chassis so make sure that this connection goes right into the um, chassis to this XLR so this XLR is tapped in and grounded into the chassis here same thing with the input grounded in pin 1 again is grounded to the XLR into the chassis so you have one complete ground connection going good and then the input transformer also you need it we have this grounded I scraped powder coat off as well and um, so this is grounded into the chassis and you have a complete ground for the input transformer and um, here's the input itself the input knob um, and you control it here I don't have the knob on yet but um, you have your inputs and outputs going into here and then it runs right into the input transformer then it'll power into the PCB, which is not here yet. It'll go right into the PCB with all the circuitry. Um, the meter itself, it has an off switch. Um, that's for the power, but the meter actually would go right in here. Perfect. So you would uh, turn it off and on right here with a switch. And I have that connected to the power outlet and you can see the power outlet right here where you put your power cord in to the wall and another ground important ground for your power is your ground pin and that's in your uh, number three ground pin here bingo and that grounds into the chassis and that's for safety you don't want anyone getting shocked um, so your ground pin comes off and I have that going into a bolt in the chassis. I scrape powder coat and this is grounded right into the chassis so you have a complete ground again. And your negative and positive, your hot wire, comes out and goes into your PCB switch for your on and off. And this powers on and off the unit. So you have that going in, your negative positive goes in here and then your out goes into the power transformer does its conversions for the power 
and then goes out to these which goes to the PCB and then it powers all your components and you get power and you want to make sure that this is your most important that you get your connections correct you get the right power transformer because you could just ruin your whole project here and um, so I have that connected you have your ratio I have no ratio connected yet I'm waiting for the PCB to be installed and I'll go off into the PCB and everything so it's coming along um, just making sure I have all the circuitries right um, connections and um, we're getting there so this is the day two of the build um, on the limited time I'm doing this, this for a client and hopefully day three I can at least get in some PCB stuff, uh, power connections, and the ratio. And then we'll get on to attack and uh, release knobs. So, get in there and see you in a bit.